Hi, my name is Awilda Jimenez. I am the Virtual Content Specialist Teacher from PS386 in the Bronx. I've created this teacher-facing video in partnership with Maria Friedland from the Division of Multilingual Learners. This teacher-facing video focuses on the introduction portion of the Grade 4, Unit 4, Day 3 lesson titled Compromises at the Constitutional Convention. Focus question is what were the challenges of creating a new nation? And our lesson objective is to explore a variety of sources to determine the different viewpoints that led to significant compromises in the early drafting of the United States Constitution. Prior to this lesson, it would be helpful to assign students um, the Passport to Social Studies Workbook, page six, um, in English and their home language, if that's applicable, um, because it gives them sort of a summary of those different viewpoints and it will give them access to the grade level contents of the lesson and support their comprehension of the videos in the lesson as well as the sources um, in the lesson. Some of the scaffolds provided um, are th the use of guiding questions to support comprehension. Um, some definitions for key vocabulary words that will also help students access the grade level content. Students have the option of working in triads or small groups. Students have the source rewordify.com where they can copy and paste text that will scaffold um, and help students get an understanding of grade level text. And as always, um, there is the Chrome, Google Chrome extension read aloud that will read text out loud to students. So those are some scaffolds that are provided in this lesson. Um, in terms of technology, if you're going to have students work in groups um, to split up, to be split up and analyze the different sources, um, they could make presentations if they wanted um, using audio on QuickTime or video on Flipgrid. Um, you could use a platform like Padlet.com where the, qu the questions are posted for each, um, for each group and using a discussion protocol, students can um, discuss the answers to those quest questions and jot them on the virtual bulletin board. Um, you also have the option of having all the students in groups, but analyze both sources um, and discuss what the three-fifths compromise was and what it, what it implied for the United States, um, as well as some of the, what happened during the Constitutional Convention. Okay, so in the introduction, students should have um, an understanding of these vocabulary words in order to understand um, the video, The Making of the American Con Constitution. It's an introductory video. Students can pause and rewind and listen to it as many times as possible. Um, I added what the Grand Convention actually was. Um, it was the Constitutional Convention and this is just a brief summary of the events as outlined in the video. Um, there is a guiding question here. Um, students can listen to the video in its entirety once and then come back and listen to it a second time um, where you provide stopping points. So for the first stopping point, the question is what were some of the challenges um, that America faced as a new nation, was King George correct in his warnings? So the purpose of that question is to have students reflect on the lesson from the beginning of Unit 4, um, where King George in, his, in the song that they analyzed gave the new America a warning. Um, so again, students should understand that 
all of these lessons and all of these events in history are almost our building blocks of each other. They're puzzle pieces. There's a lot of cause and effects re relationships. Um, and this particular part of the video reminded me of that lesson. So sh students should be able to make, recall that information. Here, you have the option of just discussing these questions. Students don't necessarily, if you're teaching live, students don't necessarily have to fill this out. Like if you're assigning it on a, on a Google slide, um, on Google Classroom, excuse me, students don't have to answer each question. You could provide this on the video one a day or two ahead of time, and maybe students can jot down their notes so that the discussion for the introduction could go a lot quicker. Um, and that would be a great scaffold for your English language learners. Um, so that would be something that I would highly recommend. And then here, slowing down around this image of the map to understand at the time what the new America looked like what did the 13 colonies or these new United States look like? So those are just some ideas for how to launch um, this lesson. Again, it would be, it's highly recommended that these vocabulary words, the videos, the question, the Passport to Social Studies workbook, page six, be assigned a day or two ahead um, just to facilitate more meaningful discussion and so students can have access to the content and um, feel more confident in participating during discussions.